Hey, good morning, healthy people. Happy Wednesday. This week is actually flying by. Um, it's Wednesday, March 28, 2018. It's a perfect day to fast. 28, 2018. Look at those numbers. Two months since I turned 37. Um, but a couple of things. So yesterday I ended up doing 15 minutes of yoga at home and then I did uh, 10 minutes of cardio after work and I did weights after work. I was going to a yoga class, but I got my times mixed up, so I missed that, which I'm going to try to do today, but we'll see because I don't really want to be up too late tonight. Um, and then I finished my book reading, so I got behind on February because February was a short month, and also I just got busy, but I had started reading T.G. Jake's Soar, which is for people who want to be entrepreneurs or whatever, and it kind of walks you through the steps of everything that you need to do, and it gives you resources. It's a really good great book it's not a book that you can rush I mean you want to take notes and you I would suggest do the steps while you're reading it because it just makes it easier or putting like a little sticky and saying this right here is the business plan section this right here is the blah 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 marketing section or whatever which is including your business plan but whatever right and then um my job I had was supposed to read this book a while ago but I never finished called the coaching habit um it's a real simple easy read big words big letters and it just kind of walks you through um if you're in a leadership role or position or something like that and you want to coach people or you just want to be better with talking to people, it's a good book to read. So I did that for February and March, so I'm done. Um, I'm not really an advocate of reading two books at a time because it's a lot of work and I get busy, but I, I need my books to be intentional for me right now. So for April, um, like I said, it's a free for all. I say just read a book. My goal was to read one book per month this year. And so far I'm on track. I also listened to the audio book, Eat, Pray, Love. It's long, y'all, like six hours, I think in 30 minutes per book, right? That's super long per like audio on YouTube. So it's like 13 hour, 14 hours of my time. I almost listened to this woman talk, but she went on this journey, found love, found her, or she went on this journey, found herself. You know what I mean? Um, got spiritual and got all these things met a guy and uh, hopefully make a house do you know what I mean just all these different things so I, I do recommend it if you have time if not read the book watch the movie if you don't have time for the audio book so I started reading this book uh, about two years ago as you can see my little notes and stuff are in here however I didn't finish it this is where I stopped so I have this much left what I'm gonna do is glance through the part I've already read finish reading the um the back part and this book is called uh the little black book of success laws of leadership for black women definitely love this book um what i read so far right um and then another book for work that i started reading over my spring break which i thought was pretty good so far is what i wish i knew when i was 20 these two books would be my april book so that's where i'm at not pushing myself because one book i've already started right and the second book what i wish i knew when i was 20 is short so today's journal prop question i'm not gonna take all your time because i've been talking um is uh well i guess i am gonna do it it's, it's from ashley yay ashley she came up with a question and it's i am most myself when i am myself when so when are you yourself when are you most likely to be yourself are you most likely to be yourself when you're at home at work hiking in nature at the club you know um playing a sport being a parent being a wife being a husband when are you most yourself so think about that when i don't know about that for three minutes starting now I don't know, I ain't making some crazy faces, huh? Are you most yourself when you're around people you know? Because I'm most myself when I'm around my kids because they're always with me. They've always been with me. So, you know, we roll out. We ourselves when we're around each other. I get on their nerves, but I'm most myself when I'm with them. So even sometimes when I have company, depending on who it is, it's like, you know, it's not that I'm not being myself, but sometimes it's just, you just have to be company. You just have to be a, a host. So you're like... Pass the great coupon, please. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't really be like, you know. So, 
that's that's also a factor. Usually most of myself when I'm around people I know or when I'm by myself. I usually <sighs> my most authentic self. I'm reading it. I'm usually my most authentic self when I'm around people I know or when I'm at home with my children and things like that. There's a couple of people that know me like 100%. My kids know me hands down 100%. And there's, I got a couple of friends that I'm always, they probably know my ins and outs. So that's what you're drawing about today. You got about 30 seconds left. When are you your most authentic self? I know, right? My little list of people that I'm authentic around is like not that long. All right, so I want to keep it to your time. My journaling was short for the last two days for no particular reason other than I was just talking um, for so long and I didn't want it to be a long video of me just journaling. So you guys can keep journaling if you need to. I'll probably add some more to that. Wishing you guys all healthier, happier habits. I will talk to you soon.